So the other thing that uh, we've talked about at length, um, the number two or, or another veteran wide receiver, I don't want to necessarily say number two. Um, now over the weekend it came out that T.Y. Hilton is talking to a couple of other teams other than the Colts, but I know you've written an article. Um, is there a veteran that the, that's on the Browns' radar, Will Fuller, T.Y. Hilton, any of the guys that, that we have talked about? Are they on the Browns' radar at all? Not right now. I don't believe that they are. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, there was a report uh, in the athletic that um, that two other teams besides the Colts had had fruitful discussions for the services of T.Y. Hilton, the Colts receiver. Um, but that the Browns are not one of those teams that they, they have not been in, in the mix for him. And as of right now, um, Will Fuller is not front burner for them. I think the only way that Will Fuller would get done and would come to Cleveland is if at some point Deshaun Watson goes to the Cleveland Browns and says, I really want Will Fuller on this team. And if he does that, and if he really feels that way and feels that it will help, then I think they would at least give it some consideration because Deshaun will know if he needs somebody like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's where it stands. And as for anybody else, uh, I just don't see anything else front burner right now. Is um. Is it a matter of they want to get a look, especially at guys like Donovan Peoples-Jones, Anthony Schwartz? If you're bringing in veterans, you're likely taking reps away from one of those guys that um, DPJ showed some flashes, and I know they think highly of Anthony Schwartz. Yeah, I think that um, that's some of it. They've got David Bell, uh, their, their third-round pick. They've got Donovan Peoples-Jones. They've got Anthony Schwartz. They want to give all those guys opportunities. They think that they will all fare very well with Deshaun Watson throwing them the ball. These are other reasons why I think they believe that Deshaun Watson is going to play a lot of games this year. They're behaving like a team that thinks it's going to have its elite quarterback on hand. Um, but then, you know, the other thing is that they are thinking globally about their pass catching situation and it's not just receivers that they're looking at when they think about their pass catchers they add in there david njoku who will probably have the second most targets on the team behind amari cooper and then same thing with harrison bryant you know he's another downfield threat for them so they've got a lot of guys that can get the job done and create mismatches and do different things. And I just don't think that they want to go out and sign a number two receiver per se for the sake of doing so. Yeah, when you think of it in terms of that, um, you know, the extension to David Njoku is, is kind of, that kind of drives home the fact they're probably not looking uh, for another uh, veteran. They, they feel like they have it in-house.